NASA announced in a statement released on January 25, 2023, that it has tested a new generation rocket engine designed to support long-term human presence on the moon. This engine, which reportedly produces more thrust with less fuel, was manufactured using a special copper alloy and 3D printing technology. During testing, the engine produced around two tons of thrust, which is more powerful than the ascent engine used in the Apollo program's lunar module. Known as a rotating detonation engine and reported to be 25% more efficient than conventional liquid fuel engines, this system is expected to power lunar landing vehicles and spacecraft traveling to Mars and beyond in the future. Welcome to Spaceship Earth. In this video, we will discuss rotating detonation rocket engines, which are expected to be widely used in future spacecraft. The biggest difference between a rotating detonation engine and other rocket engines is that the reaction between the fuel and oxidizer occurs in the form of detonations rather than combustion. But what does this really mean? Chemical fuel combustion occurs in two primary forms. The first is the classic combustion known as deflagration, in which combustion occurs at subsonic speeds. This type of combustion happens when you light a match in a car engine or in most rocket engines used today. The second type of combustion is detonation, where combustion occurs at supersonic speeds and is much stronger than regular combustion. In this type of reaction, the shock wave generated by the flame travels at supersonic speeds. Most military explosives and bombs are excellent examples of detonation combustion. Detonation in engines is applied in two main models, pulse detonation engines and rotating detonation engines. Pulse detonation engines have a long, tube-shaped exhaust attached to the combustion chamber. In this system, each time the engine fires, the gases produced by the detonation exit the exhaust tube at five times the speed of sound, creating thrust. However, after each detonation, residues must be cleared and the chamber refilled with fuel and oxidizer before reigniting, which makes the thrust intermittent. In rotating detonation engines, however, detonation proceeds in a continuous and regular flow. Here, the detonation takes place in the gap between two concentric cylinders rather than in a straight tube. Fuel and oxidizer are supplied through a series of connections within this gap. Thanks to this setup, the detonation wave progresses to the next fuel section, creating uninterrupted thrust as long as fuel is continuously provided. The supersonic detonation wave ensures that the reaction and thrust remain constant. Rotating detonation engines are theoretically 25% more efficient than similar engines. However, it is challenging to maintain the organization of the rotating detonation and shock wave within the engine. The material might not withstand the heat and pressure fluctuations generated by the detonation wave, or irregular detonations may produce ineffective thrust. With advanced technology and computer-controlled fuel delivery systems, however, NASA's latest rotating detonation engine can maintain controlled cyclical detonations at speeds of up to 30,000 revolutions per second. One key improvement in the newly developed engine is that earlier test designs could only manage a few seconds of firing. In NASA's full-scale test engine, however, one-minute continuous firings were achieved without causing damage to the engine. This significant achievement indicates that such engines could be comfortably used in future spacecraft that operate continuously. NASA is not the only organization working on rotating detonation engines designed to produce more thrust with less fuel. Other organizations aiming to harness this technology's potential are conducting research on models of various sizes. For instance, the United States Navy has been researching turbine detonation engines for over a decade to extend the operational range of its ships. Similarly, the U.S. Air Force is conducting R&D on this type of engine for drones and cruise missiles capable of flying at hypersonic speeds. Outside the United States, Poland, Japan, and China are also conducting notable research in this field. NASA plans to further develop highly efficient detonation engines in the near future. Following the current model, which produces 1.8 tons of thrust, Marshall Space Center is working on a new, reusable model that will produce 4.5 tons of thrust. This thrust level is equivalent to that of the engine used in the lunar module that transported humans to the moon during the Apollo program. 
The newly developed rocket engine is expected to be used for transporting cargo and crew between the lunar orbital station and a permanent lunar base, as well as for controlling unmanned vehicles for scientific and commercial missions. In the coming years, humanity will increase its activities on the moon and later in deep space. The efficiency, payload capacity, and capabilities of the rocket engines used in these missions will play a critical role. Rotating detonation engines stand out as a promising technology worth pursuing due to their efficiency potential. Thank you for watching Spaceship Earth. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it. To stay updated on space and space technology videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.